Hey guys, my name is Cam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be episode three of my OT5 collection journey. So I have these three envelopes and this one package, which is super duper exciting. I think there's about 45 cards in there, but I'm super duper excited to get into this package in this video. So the first half of this video, I'll be unboxing all of this mail. And then for the second half, I'll be organizing all of these photo cards into my OT5 binder. But I'll stop all my rambling and first get into all of these envelopes on the side. I normally don't like talking while I'm unboxing this mail, but I'm feeling kind of talkative today, I guess, because I'm super duper excited for that package. But I'm honestly really surprised at how fast I've been able to find all of the cards, or not all of the cards, I'm still missing quite a few, but I'm surprised at how quickly I've been able to find a lot of the cards for my collection. But here's this note. It says, hi, thank you so much for trading with me. Please let me know when you get this from Haley at Gahyuns on Instagram. I'm not sure if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm so sorry. But here's this Wendy Red Summer card. She looks so freaking pretty. I love the half blonde hair for this era on her. Here's the back with the iconic, iconic orange and her signature, so freaking cute. But yep, here's this Wendy card. I was missing that one. Next up, I'll do this longer envelope. So this note says, thank you for buying from me. And here's their ad at From Beauty on Instagram. And this person was selling their Yeti collection, but the only card that I was able to get from them was this hashtag cookie jar card since they were selling it for a super duper good price. But here she is, so stinking cute. Oh my God. And the back is super duper cute as well. It's focusing on the note for some reason. But here's the back in better focus. And then the front like y'all saw before. And before the big package, we have one more envelope. And I think this is actually actually a finale card so this is one of the last two that i needed and this person was selling it for a super duper good price but here's the card they use the really nice trolls hollow washi tape from the pop-up store so the note says cam thank you so much for buying i really appreciate it hope joy makes it to you safely and she finds a happy home in your collection please let me know when she arrives stay safe and healthy from sunny at bay toki trades and they cut out a little piece of the sulgi washi so freaking cute and here's this sulgi freebie so pretty as well as this joy sticker from summer magic damn she looks so good in this thank you so much for the freebies Honestly, I got so lucky with this finale card because the moment that I refreshed the red velvet sale tag, it popped up. So super duper grateful to Sunny for selling this card to me. Here's the back and then the front. For the finale cards, there's so many. So I call each of the cards something different. So this one is Goth Joy. She looks so good in it. But yep, that was one of the last two finale cards that I needed. And finally, I'll move these cards off to the side, but we have the big package with all of my red velvet OT5 cards. Like I I said before i'm super duper excited for this package because this will help me out with my collection a lot like i think this is at least half or maybe a third of all of red velvet's cards so super duper happy but i'll stop my rambling and get into it So the note says, Cam, thank you so much for purchasing. I'm a bit sad to say goodbye to my collection of Red Velvet, but so happy. I know the cards are going to a great home. Please let me know when everything arrives to you. I hope they make it quickly and safe. Thanks again and stay healthy from Emma Lee K-pop on Instagram. And here's their song recommendation, Lucky Girl on Russian Roulette, I believe. And it's their favorite all-time song from Red Velvet. Thank you so much. I know that it's hard to let go of your collection, but I'm so happy that I could take them off of you. And yeah, thank you so much for selling these to me. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin. Like there's five top loaders stacked here with like four or five cards in each of them. So not really sure how I'm going to start, but I think I'll start with the top and then work my way to the bottom if that makes sense. So I'll put these all off to the side and yeah, let's just dive right in. But let's go through this top loader first. I think they organized it by era, which is really nice. So I think I'll start with this one since this is the velvet one. I feel like it might take forever for me if I take each of them out of their sleeves but we have joy the velvet as well as yeti so freaking pretty this is one of my favorite yeti cards oh my gosh she's so freaking pretty in this there are 
are those two starting it off strong. Next, I see some rookie cards. So we have Joy and then Sulgi on the back. Obviously, I already have Sulgi, but I thought that I could trade her to one of the remaining rookie cards I need since rookie cards are honestly kind of hard to find in my opinion, along with Finale. I think they're one of the hardest sets to complete. Like I said, we have Miss Sulgi and then Miss Joy. Let me take off this tape. So freaking pretty. This was actually the original card that I pulled in my first copy of Rookie. Next will be this top loader. So I see Russian Roulette and then Red Summer. Oh my god, the backs of these cards are so pretty next to each other. Oh my god. Let me just show you all the backs. But here we have Wendy's Russian Roulette card, Yeti's Russian Roulette card, as well as Joy's. And like I said before, the backs are absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, there was the Russian Roulette cards. The next top loaders have some Summer Magic cards as well as some hashtag cookie jar cards. But we'll go through this Summer Magic one first. But I did buy a full set of the Summer Magic clear cards. I do already have Irene Tsulki and Wendy and I only needed Joy and Yeti, but I was thinking that I could trade the other three to some other red velvet cards I needed. Honestly, a lot of these cards are kind of dupes, but I really did need to buy some extra red velvet cards to trade to ones that I needed. So let me put these in age order really quickly. So we have Irene, Sulgi, Wendy, Joy, and Yeti. Obviously, like I said before, I will be trading the Uni line to any other red velvet cards that I need on my wish list. So the set is honestly so pretty next to each other. I've never seen them together. And the hashtag cookie jar cards actually broke the top loader since there's a lot in here. But yeah, let's get into these. So we have the hashtag cookie jar group card, Wendy's card, as well as Irene's card. Oh my god, these are honestly so pretty. Yeah, surprisingly, all of these go together since Joy and Sulgis are the outliers, I think, in this set since there's only two of them with like the light blue concept. But yeah, here are the three hashtag cookie jar cards I got. So freaking pretty. But next, we have some day two and then some more red summer cards. I think we'll go through the red summer ones first just to go in chronological order. But here I bought several sets of cards as well as an extra silky set to trade since I think I'm missing a Wendy card or something. I think I'm missing one of the cards so I could obviously trade Sulgi to ones that I need. But yeah, here we have Sulgi's Red Summer set as well as one of the Joys. I think the other one is in here somewhere in one of the other top loaders. But here's Sulgi's set and Joy, like I said before. I just realized that I put this top loader off to the side earlier. So I think the rest of the Red Summer cards are in here. So let me open this up really quickly to keep them all together. But yeah, here we have the remaining Joy card as well as Yeti's Red Summer set. I think Wendy, Yeti, and Joy really owned Red Summer. Like their hair was so freaking pretty. But yep, here are these cards. And now we'll get into the day two cards in this top loader. But in here, we have two of Yeti's cards. So these two are from the day two version. So this one, as well as this one, which is probably another one of my favorite Yeti cards. This one is so freaking cute. Oh my God, blonde Yeti always eats. Yup. And then we have this Wendy, so freaking cute as well. This extra Sulgi that I hope to trade to a Joy that I need. And then this Joy guidebook version. Honestly, I think Joy owned Oompa Oompa or day two era, but there are those day two cards. I think we're about halfway through the cards now, so I'll really quickly reorganize everything since it's such a mess everywhere. Like there's top loaders and washi tape everywhere. So I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys, so it took me a bit to clean up and try to organize all of the cards, but I've kind of tried to organize them by era. It's not really chronological, like you see Finale here and like day two down here. So that doesn't really make sense, but I think it's okay for now since I'll just be organizing them in my binder later. But yeah, let's get right into the rest of these cards. I still have all of these top loaders and I just noticed that I missed this ice cream cake one, which I probably should have done first. So I'll do this one right now. But looking at all of these cards in front of me, I'm so freaking happy that I was able to get them all from like basically one seller. I think if I have one buying tip for somebody that wants to collect like an entire group, so like OT of any group, I'd really advise trying to get all of your cards from one seller or try to buy in bulk and not individually since individually tends to be more expensive and sellers are really nice and they will give you discounts if you buy multiple cards. And y'all don't want to hear me ramble, so I have this Joy Ice Cream Cake card as well as Yeti's. I think a couple of days ago, it was actually Ice Cream Cake's sixth anniversary, which is so insane. Red Velvet it has been five for six years. So yeah, Yeti's signature is so different and so is Joy's. Next, we'll do these two top loaders. So Summer Magic and Day 2. So we'll start with Summer Magic. But here we have Joy's standard card as well as Yeti's standard card and then Yeti's limited card. Let me take these out for y'all. Here are the backs. So freaking pretty. I love Yeti's color. I think it's so pretty, like the lavender shade. So yeah, here's Joy's and then two of Yeti's. So freaking pretty, like I've said for the millionth time. 
And now we'll get into this top loader. I think I misspoke. And there's actually only one day two card and it's this Yeti day two Kino here. Oh my God, we have hella cards in here. But in here we have Yeti's day one Kino, Joy's day one guidebook version card, Yeti's day one guidebook version card, and then Yeti's day two Kino, which y'all saw before. We're down to our last few top loaders. So in here we have Peekaboo as well as Sappy. So I'll do the Peekaboo one first. So in here we have Wendy's Peekaboo set. And this one on the right is actually the one that I pulled in my original album. So freaking pretty. And then this one, the red. And then we also have this Joy card. I think Peekaboo and Bad Boy are also two sets that are really hard to complete for some reason. Just because they're like out of print, I'm pretty sure. Or they're out of stock everywhere. And it's really unfortunate that SM didn't reprint all of their albums. They only reprinted Finale. But anyways, in here I have two Sappy cards. So I have Irene as well as Sulgis. The Asul power here. But yep, these are two more cards that I'm hoping to trade to other Sappy cards that I need. And now we're down to our last two top loaders. So we have some rookie cards and then some RBB ones. So we'll do this rookie top loader first. So in here we have Wendy's rookie set. So there's this one and then this one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have an extra of this one since I ordered it from an international seller. So yeah, here are these two Wendy rookie cards. So pretty. And now we're on the final top loader for this package. That's honestly so exciting to go through, but it's the RBB cards. Honestly, it feels like I'm saying this for every era, but RBB is another era that's really hard to find for some reason. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like RBB is like one of the cheapest albums to get, but people just like love to overcharge for this era, I feel like, just because like Irene's cards are really like hard to get. So then the rest of the album cards are really expensive, but we have this Wendy card and then we also have Yeti set. Oh my God, Yeti's era, yup. But yep, there are all of the cards in this package. So here are all of the Red Velvet cards that I got in the first half of this video. I've probably already posted on my Instagram the cards that I'd like to trade to any of the cards that I need on my wish list. So definitely check out my Instagram at Zimzilla Bill. But yeah, that's it for this haul. So let's get right into the organization part. Okay, also I've taken out my sleeves as well as my OT5 binder. We'll all be storing all of these Red Velvet cards, obviously. And I think I'll first go ahead and unsleeve all of these since these are in the Ultra Pro Clear sleeves, which are a bit smaller than the ones that I typically use, which are Dragon Shield. I'll take one out, for example. This one's a bit curved, unfortunately, but as you can see, it is quite a bit bigger and it fits to the Ultra Pro sleeves better, in my opinion, like the Ultra Pro 9 Pocket sleeves, I mean. So I think what I'm going to do, like I said before, is just unsleeve all of these out of the Ultra Pro ones and then transfer them into the Dragon Shield ones. But of course, I'll be keeping the Ultra Pro ones for trades and sales. I don't know why I put all this stuff off to the side, but now that I've re-sleeved all of the photo cards for today, I'll start putting them in one by one. I don't really know if I'm going to talk during this or just time lapse it, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But first we have Joy's ice cream cake card. And we also have Yeti's for the same set. So now I'm only missing Wendy's, which I do believe is actually on the way. I don't have any cards for Dum Dum, but I do have two cards for the Velvet. So I have Joy and Yeti's again. Honestly, this set is probably one of my favorites, like as a whole, like Irene's card, Joy's card, and Yeti's card are probably some of my top cards from each of them. So yeah, I'm super duper happy to be making progress on this set. Next is Russian Roulette, and I think I actually completed my set, yes. So we have Wendy's, so freaking cute, Joy's and then Yeti who owned this era in my opinion. But yeah, I'm super duper happy to finish this set. Oh my god, I think this is actually the first OT5 complete set that I have for today. And this set is so pretty together. Oh my god, Russian Roulette era. For Rookie, I think I have quite a bit. Just kidding, I only have three. But I do have Wendy's set as well as Joy's. Not sure how I want to separate it yet. I think I'm going to put Joy on this page. I'm not sure which Wendy I'm going to use, but I'll figure it out as I do it. Thank you. 
There's no official A or B set, so I kind of just do it by vibes or like by color scheme. So for this one, I'm kind of putting the more colorful cards. And then for this one, I'm kind of doing the darker cards. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but I kind of just do it by vibes basically. For Red Summer, I think I have quite a bit as well. So I have Yeti set, Joy set, and then one of Wendy's cards. I think I'm going to put Wendy up here with this set. And then I'm going to put this Joy down here, this Yeti down here. And then these two Joy and Yeti cards will go on this page. But yeah, oh my god, I'm almost done with Red Summer as well. That was really quick as well. For Peekaboo or Perfect Velvet, I have Wendy set and then one of Joy's cards. So I think I'm going to put this Wendy card up here because this set is like more red, if you can see. And I don't think either of Joy's cards are red, but I think this one would go better with this set, honestly. And then this Wendy will obviously go up here. Okay, so I took a quick break to charge my phone since it's at 20%, but yeah, there was Peekaboo slash Perfect Velvet. I don't have any Bad Boy or the Perfect Red Velvet cards, so now on to Hashtag Cookie Jar. I do have three cards for this era, so the group, Wendy, and then Yetis. These are so freaking cute. And then the backs, oh my god. Japanese cards are such nice quality, and I feel like they're just so nice in general. But yeah, here's my hashtag cookie jar set so far. I'm only missing this joy. I don't think I have a trade or sale lined up for it, so I'm gonna have to find that soon. But super duper happy with how this set is coming along. The Silgi card is crooked, that's why I took it out. Hashtag cookie jar, so freaking nice. As for Summer Magic, I do have Joy and Yeti's normal edition cards. So this one and this one, they're so freaking pretty. Oh my God. I feel like all the members ate during Summer Magic era. Here's this set. I don't have this Wendy yet. And then for the limited, I just have this Yeti. Oh, she's so pretty in this card. And for the clear cards, I actually ran out of these white sleeves. So for now, they're just gonna have to go in these clear sleeves and I'll replace them later. But I do have Joy and Yeti again. Honestly, these Joy and Yeti cards look kind of sad down here without the white backs, but for now, this will have to do. I do have this Wendy card on the way, and for RBB, this has been giving me a lot of trouble, but I do have this Wendy card, and then these two Yetis. I still haven't gotten either of Joy's cards for some reason, like, I can't find them anywhere for a good price. They're so freaking cute, too. But I do have the second Wendy on the way from a set as well, so hopefully that arrives soon. I don't have any sappy cards, but I do have quite a few day one cards, I think. Never mind, I only have three, but I do have two of the guidebook version cards, so join Yeti again. This Joy card is so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh, she ate. Yeti's card is super duper cute as well. Honestly, this is why it's so nice to collect OT5 instead of just one or two members because the sets look so pretty together. Oh my god. But yeah, here's the day one guidebook cards I have so far. I don't have any of the day one version cards, but I do have this Yeti day one Kino. It's really similar to one of her other cards, I think, from the day one version. But yep, yeah, here's her Kino card. Now on to Oompa Oompa era. I think, yeah, almost all of the remaining cards are from Oompa Oompa era. I do have this one guidebook card and then all of these day two version cards. So one of Wendy's, Yeti set, and then Yeti's day two Kino. I don't know, I can always change it. So for now, these are my sets for day two and then Yeti's day two Kino, which is probably my second favorite Kino after a bad boy, but she's so cute in this, her little kissy face. And then the final card that I have for this organization video is this Joy Finale card. This is a first press card, as you can see by the tabs, and it's from the scrapbook version. I'm not sure where I want to put this one, if I want to put it with this first set or with this last set. I'm going to put it with this last set since it's black and white. And the other card that I'm missing is the sewing machine one, and I think that one will look good down here with this set. But yeah, oh my god, that was actually a really fun video to film. I honestly filled up a bunch of my binder, like, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I'm giving myself a pat on my back. Yeah, I'll do a quick flip through for y'all before the outro.
But yeah, there's my OT5 collection at the end of part three of my OT5 journey. I really, really hope that y'all enjoyed this video, found it relaxing, or thought that it was fun to watch or whatever. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with how my collection is turning out so far. It's so satisfying to see the pages fill up with all of their discography. Honestly, Red Velvet has some of the prettiest cards in my opinion. I know that I'm biased because they're my ults, but in all honesty, they really do have some of the prettiest cards of all K-pop groups in my opinion. And yeah, like I said, it's just super duper fun to see the pages fill up. And yeah, like I said, that brings me to the end of this video. So as usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay loud, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!